Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Omisun Dehumidifier. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box is an Omisun Dehumidifier. And just taking a look at the details that's on the box packaging. And on this side of the box, there are some specifications for the dehumidifier. Just checking the underside or bottom of the box. And at the top as well. And now let's go ahead and open it up by pulling out the box tab and opening the box flap at the top and taking a look directly inside the box. Let's lift out the protective foam packaging and let's slide the dehumidifier out from its box. And of course, checking through and removing the contents that are inside of the box. And just putting the foam packaging back in the box. And of course, closing the box back up. We can set the box to the side, so let's set it on the right hand side of the tabletop. and giving you a look at the Omisun dehumidifier. So just shifting the box slightly to the side so it doesn't interfere with the foreground as we focus in on the dehumidifier. And of course laying the booklet right next to it so you have a full and complete look at the contents which we've just removed from the Omisun Dehumidifiers box packaging. So let's start off by taking a look at this booklet. So it is a product manual. And let's flip it open to see what it contains inside of it. So we can see a table of contents in five languages and just flipping the pages through for your reference purposes And just a few more pages to go. And those are the various languages that this product booklet contains. Okay, so just going to set that user manual to the side, so just setting it on the left hand side of the tabletop and giving you a look at the Omisun dehumidifier as it is with its clear plastic bag packaging. So now let's slide the packaging or bag down and it is recyclable and of course let's keep that away from babies, children and animals. So now giving you a clearer look at the dehumidifier as it is and its various aspects before we take a much closer in look. A 
Okay, and turning it facing the front again. Let's slide out the rest of the packaging. So once again, some protective foam pads. Let's put that to the side. And it's water tank. So it does have a 1.2 litre water tank or 1200 milliliter capacity water tank. And let's slide the recyclable clear plastic bag off and continue to unpack the dehumidifiers parts. So we can see in this bubble wrap bag there is a power adapter with a British or UK 3 pin plug and a DC plug connector so giving you a close up look at the details right there and of course the specifications of the power adapter and of course the plug as well and its overall size and of course we'll undo the cable tie later to give you a sense of the power adapter's cable length and back to the water tank as we can see there is a card inside of it let's replace the cover of the water tank and just setting that down and once again just laying the contents across the tabletop so you have once again that full and clear look at the various parts and accessories of this Omisun dehumidifier. So back to the card, taking a close-up look. So there is some information on it, it says tips. And on the reverse side, the information in another language. Okay, so just setting that down to the side. So just going to set that on the left hand side of the tabletop. And moving right back to the dehumidifier. So just going to replace the water tank back into the unit. And now taking a much closer in look at its details. So top down is where the air will blow up from. And we can see some buttons towards the front edge of the dehumidifier. And the front as well with the dehumidifier text or font on the front panel and of course we see the water tank as well clear water tank with what appears to be a float in it that would trigger the sensor for the water tank when it is full to automatically shut off so giving you a look at the side profile as well. And the back. So with the back, we can see vent holes at the back where it draws air in and blows it out the top.
And that's the water tank with the view from the back. And on this side of the unit, we can see the DC inlet power socket to plug that power adapter DC plug into to power the unit. And back to the front again. And to give you some sense of the size of this dehumidifier, I'm just going to place my hand over the top outlet or vent. And of course, resting the dehumidifier in my palm as well. And let's just move the power adapter to the side so it doesn't interfere too much with the foreground as we once again continue with the close-up details. of the dehumidifier. So overall ABS or sturdy plastic construction and of course not forgetting to look at the bottom or base or underside of the dehumidifier. We can see some specification stickers as well as four round foam feet so overall the color of this dehumidifier is majority white with the bluish gray accents for the central parts of the unit. Okay, and let's pop out the water tank so we can take a better look at the other details. So taking a look on the underside, we can see the water outlet towards the rear of the unit and some circuitry under this clear window and of course there would be the sensor to detect when the water tank is full as well to automatically shut off and the unit does have an auto defrost function as well let me say that again it does have an auto defrost function where it would stop the unit and resume once the unit has automatically defrosted and it does have integrated colored LEDs as well and of course taking a look at the water tank so it can you a look at this clear plastic water tank it does have a very faint bluish gray tint to it as you can see not completely transparent and right there giving you once again that look of the water tank with the drip area for the water to flow and guide into the water tank and of course that float mechanism for the automatic shut off sensor when the water tank is full so as you can see there is a notch towards the back of the body of the water tank and that aligns with the cover so that it does sit perfectly in place and you can see the front protrusion 
that lines up with the cut out on the front portion. of the dehumidifier. Okay, and now let's go ahead and untie the cable or wire that's holding the power adapter's cable together. So let's unwind it so you can see the length of the cable. So right there, giving you a sense of the length of the cable for the power adapter. And of course, the measurements for the dehumidifier, it does measure 16.2 centimeters wide, 14.2 centimeters deep, and 27.8 centimeters tall or high. So once again, 27.8 centimeters tall, 16.2 centimeters wide and 14.2 centimeters deep. Okay, and now let's go ahead and plug in the DC power plug into the side plug inlet. And of course, plug the power adapter into a mains power supply and flipping that power switch on you can hear that audible beep so giving you a look of the dehumidifier now plugged in and now let's go ahead and tap on one of the buttons at the top, let's tap on the power button and we can see that the buttons do illuminate in blue. So we'll give you a look right there. More clearly you can see the illuminated buttons and of course the illuminated water tank as well and we can see the cycling of the color shining into the water tank from above And of course you can hear the sound of the fan that's in the dehumidifier and of course it's blowing out from the top and drawing in air from the rear or back of the unit. So there's a gentle breeze blowing out from the top. And slight air movement from the rear as well as air is drawn in from the back into the vents and blown out through the top. And let's tap on the power button again and see what happens. And we could hear that audible beep turning off and back on 
Let's see what happens if we press and hold, if anything happens at all. Okay, so just a simple capacitive touch sensor button, which is very quick to respond. And now let's tap on the light button. And we can see the color in the water tank being held in a static yellow. And let's tap once again. So it turns the LED off and back on again. So the first LED mode is the color cycling mode. As we can see, the color shift or change from one to the next in a continuous pattern. And should we choose to hold or freeze that color, all we need to do is tap on the LED or light button again. And tapping again should turn it off and back on again. And let's see what happens if we press and hold onto that button. Okay, so nothing happens when we press and hold. So once again, the first illumination mode is the color cycling mode and pressing again holds that color and a third press turns the night light or LED off. Okay, so let, let's keep it on on the standard color cycling mode. And now let's press on that middle button if there's a button at all. Okay, nope. So that might appear to be an auto defrost indicator. The symbol that we see between the two illuminated buttons it appears to be a water droplet with a snowflake symbol next to it. So simple operation with a continuous dehumidification mode with auto defrost and of course auto water tank full shut off and of course that LED night light button as well. So once again giving you a look at this Omisun dehumidifier. And if we were to pop the water tank out, it still continues to operate, which is quite interesting. No automatic shut off with the water tank removed, but nonetheless, it does have a full water tank shut off as well as automatic defrosting and automatic resumption of the dehumidification once it has been auto defrosted. So there, off. And back on. And let's let it run for 12 hours and come back and see the results, if any. Okay, so we're back after 12 hours of continuous operation of the Omisun dehumidifier. Now let's go ahead and take a look. So we can see in the water tank that it has collected an amount of water in this 
1.2 litre capacity water tank. Let's go ahead and turn the dehumidifier off and pop out the water tank so that you can see the water that's been collected from the air. So I'm giving you a top down look as well. And let's remove the lid from the water tank so that you can have a clearer look right there. Okay, and of course let's close it up. And give you a look as it is right there. The water tank replaced in this Omisun dehumidifier. So giving you an overall look. at the dehumidifier and directly down into the outlet vent at the top So that's the Omisun dehumidifier. Thanks for watching and happy dehumidifying.